Yo, Airsoft Nation, what's up? Another vlog type video that we've done. It's been a few weeks and you have to watch till the end. It's super fun. Hannes has found a way to make me look as retarded as possible and make it funny for everyone to watch. Watch it until the very end and leave a comment on what you thought was most funny. All right, people, we're doing 15 Crytek rifles today for you in this daily vlog series of in Korean vlogs that we're doing. Behind me you have Julia from ACS, Jonas and Bernie and they're taking care of all these 15 rifles today. They already unboxed everything. I think Julian did all of that. So we have 15, 14 plus one over there, shells ready for milling. So basically all these boxes there were priorly guns. They gutted them, they took everything out. Now they cleaned them. That's why there's a smell of like, I don't know, like cleaning stuff in the air right now and they're going to be using this milling rig that we're going to show you in a second to mill down parts of the gearbox to fit in a Titan. So basically you have part of this post right here and on the other shell you have uh, this part that needs to be milled down in this area here, here which you're going to see in the porn scenes afterwards or in the time lapses or stuff that Hannes does with this. I don't want to tell him what to do because he knows better than me. Um, and I'll hand it over to these guys who are going to show you how to basically install a Titan at the end of the day into a Crytek gearbox and that will make the gun complete. So head on over there and enjoy the seats. <laughs> Trying to be cool sitting here. Okay, so in the background you see the guys are still planning out the whole production run. Uh, basically 15 guns, they have already prepared all the milling stuff. Jonas is still milling right now, I think, the last few. And then you have seen how Bernie was preparing parts and uh, Julian uh, was preparing the installation of the bearings, uh, gluing them in, punching them in, making sure they're really tight in there. And now they're getting ready to have the last gearboxes made and then putting all the guns together. And I think the next thing that we're gonna see is maybe a little bit of installation work like Titans, uh, putting in the whole compression system, making sure that everything is lubricated. Uh, I think gears were already grinded. Uh, pistons should already be ready. Um, AOE corrected and ready for installation. So usually this happens beforehand, before we do the entire production run, which is basically just an assembly run. And um, by the time that you will see the next porn and the end of that, we will probably have the first gun ready. And um, I think that I'll also try to help a little bit, putting all the gearboxes back into the guns, which is probably the thing that I'm most qualified for because I'm not a tech. But let's face it, we have a few good people back there. They're doing their best to get it done. And I hope that very soon we'll have this out the door and ready for you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of format. Uh, I sure do, even though I almost kill myself, but enjoy it. I don't know if you guys can hear me, Bernie is doing some milling in the background and the only task that I was given was cleaning cylinders and greasing them, like greasing the compression parts because apparently they don't trust me with anything else. Julian is already doing tech work. He's shimming gearboxes one by one. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of different builds on the table right now. Uh, we have CQBRs to do, DMRs to do, Recce's to do, and Carbines to do. So those are all the mission packages available for Crytex, which are going to go into all these guns that you saw yesterday. Uh, it's in the morning now. We have everything prepared. We're four people on the, on the, on the production line, I guess, if you want to call it that. And I guess by the end of this day, we'll have this all done. Right now, we're just greasing it up, preparing the compression kits, and by the time we're done with that, we're probably gonna help Julian. So, not much to see here, just a little bit of greasing. Teflon grease, silicone grease, what else is in there? 
I don't know, I think those are the two things. No, this is not, <laughs> this is my instruction that I got. God damn it, man. All right, people from the internet, uh, we have made some progress. I made progress. I'm actually working on fitting all these right now and Hannes has asked me to give you guys an update, so. Again, I'm doing the pleb job. This is not even properly in there. Let me say, like, I have to get this checked afterwards. Um, but obviously, Julian and Jonas and Bernie, they were like pumping out all of these right now. You can see him putting in uh, one of the last Titans right now, I think. Oh, geez, he's got four more Titans to go. Actually, no, wait. <laughs> he's got way more Titans to go. Yeah. Never mind. So, back there, a few of them are already installed, wired. Uh, this is a little bit of a tedious job, as you can imagine. But you can see the rest of the parts are already on the table. There's a little bit of grease missing on the gears. Um, obviously, you can see bearings already in there, gate partially already installed, and then all the compression units already done. Honestly, I think this is like actually one of my favorite parts. I don't know why, but it looks satisfying. I mean, it's a little bit turned right now, but to me, this looks satisfying. I don't know. It's like one unibody design, whatever. Anyways, so we have different types. The DMRs have the full cylinders, that's why they look different. The other Crytex use the ported cylinders with the uh, three-quarter porting. So that's why you can see the two different types here. And I think those are the carbines, he hasn't even touched those yet. So still a lot to go. Total is like 15 rifles that we're getting done. So those are all going out to uh, final quality control on Friday, which is tomorrow. over there the people that actually do something I don't know I'm not involved he's dismantling a light what do you want from me you're disturbing me from doing nothing while he's finishing this up it looks like everything has been greased every gear is in there entirely closed up they don't have any springs in there yet the next step would be finishing all of them and then putting them all into the bodies putting in obviously the spring beforehand you can see uh, I was already already labeled up every gun so you can see Wow. Great job. So I think what's cool is that everyone kind of has their job. I don't do anything and they do everything. And at the end of the day, somehow we survive. I have no clue. It somehow works. New day, new luck. Here at the umbrella office, fully professionally prepared in order to finish the wall behind us and this order of 15 Crytex that we've been telling you about this entire time. Believe it or not, I actually put together at least two of the guns. Why are you looking at me like that? Whatever. Right now, all we have to do really is look at what the box says. Carbine, for example, for this one. Take out the gun, take all the little parts that we have and put the gun together, which is something that I can do actually, believe it or not. <laughs> What do you mean? I know exactly what to do. Okay, I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. Julian, I need your punch. Pin punch, pin puncher. This is like half the work. We can put this in here. Wrong already. Let this rest here for our selector, which is on the other side. Make sure that this is in the semi position. Come on, trigger first. Now we're fine. There we go. Close this, use this, slip this, put in a trigger pin. Cut this out. <laughs> it's the wrong way. God damn it! We want to have a selector on the other side. Uno, due. Um, so let's put in the wires correctly. There we go. What are you doing? 
They don't have any springs in there yet, putting in obviously the spring beforehand. 